News starts now. Good evening. I'm Angela Morian. And I'm Amber Worthy. Thanks for joining us for News 12 Now at 11. Ted Nuga police are searching for the driver who hit and killed a man and fled the scene. It happened on Ellie Road at 2 a.m. Officials identified the victim as Roderick Jones Jr. Police say the pedestrian was walking in the road and the driver stopped shortly before leaving the scene. Police are looking for a dark-colored mid-2000s Hyundai, but the model and year are unknown. And a group is hoping that the community steps up and helps out with the violence plaguing certain communities in Chattanooga. They are calling on gang members to put the guns down and not set that example for young people. Here's what they had to say at their first Stop the Violence rally in Olm Park. A group met for what they hope is the beginning of change in their community. Not just on the south side, but also the east, the west, the north, all sides. They marched through Alton Park Saturday to show unity amongst those impacted by violence in the area. When I seen that little guy on the corner up there, it broke me, you know, like, I, like they could be anybody's son out here. Darius Sneed, a former gang member, is referring to last week's homicide. One that added to the countless reason that this group is not just demanding change, but taking steps to make it happen. I got to looking at my kids, you know, I got two sons and it hurt me to the heart like I know this is where they lead into. To send out a message that it, it's not cool to be what he used to be. We must unite. We have to fight this fight and we have to fight in a positive manner. And it takes all of us to step up, you know, and see about these kids. Man, come on, like I choose me and my family. I don't choose them no more. Amen. And together, they hope Darius shows the gang members in the community that they have to step up first to begin to stop the violence that has caused so much heartache. We will not let the devil have our kids. Right. We will not let the enemy get the victory. Yes. Neither will we let the devil steal our joy. Amen. But it's to you we hand off. And they hope to host this type of event as well as raise money to open some type of community center for the children that they are in the community so that they would stop getting involved in gangs. The Volunteer Energy Cooperative posted to Facebook that there is a planned outage scheduled tonight beginning at 11.59. It will last four hours. This outage is to allow TVA to repair their transmission system. All members serviced by the Goodfield substation will be affected. This is a large portion of Meigs County from the city of Decatur South to the river. And police in Fort Payne are looking for a suspect in a home invasion Thursday night. The man entered a home on the west side of town just before 9 p.m. A resident confronted him and chased him out after he tore apart several rooms and took a pair of diamond earrings. The suspect is believed to be driving a small, dark-colored vehicle. Police want people in the area of 2nd Street South to 13th Street North to be on the lookout. And the Bradley County Sheriff's Office is asking the public's assistance with identifying a burglary suspect. The suspect was seen on surveillance video breaking into a business in the northern part of Bradley County and vandalizing the property. During the incident, he is also accused of stealing cash. And Habitat for Humanity celebrated their annual week-long event, National Women Build Week, by building another home in Alton Park for a deserving family. A mother and her children will move into this home once it's complete. This Women Built program invites women to devote at least to one project like this one and spotlight the home ownership challenges faced by women. I spoke with a representative from Lowe's about what this project means to them, as well as Habitat, about this national initiative. 
impact somebody and their children for them to come in here and make memories and that is just a great feeling and I know Lowe's is so proud to be a part of that as well. So empowered to realize that women can do anything they set their minds to, even things that are traditionally male oriented. National Women Build Week is held this week leading up to Mother's Day and Lowe's donated nearly two million dollars and volunteer support. More than 98,000 women from all 50 states have volunteered at nine previous National Women Build Week events. And dozens of food boxes were packed and prepared for families in the area. This after many of you helped the Chattanooga Area Food Bank with the Stamp Out Hunger Food Drive. The food was either dropped off at the food bank or at your convenience left at your mailbox for the post office to do the heavy lifting. The food bank says that this program makes a big impact around this time of the year. Just to know that like there are folks out here in our community that, that don't have food, and that's just, that's, that's hard to imagine. Uh, and so that's what we're here for, and that's what the community comes together and helps us out with here. They say this time of the year, they don't receive as much food as they do around the holidays, so their shelves aren't as full. Many families struggle during the summer since their children aren't getting their meals at school. And the White House is under fire after a White House aide reportedly made a remark about ailing U.S. Senator John McCain. The former Republican presidential nominee, now 81 years old, is fighting a deadly form of brain cancer. Errol Barnett reports. While spending